welcome back to the daily grind i've got this little mulberry tree which they get much bigger but it's in a tiny little pot it's a small one that i got um i don't remember the cost of it but i got it at home depot but these things are amazing they're like a blackberry almost Let's see if i can show you the picture there they're like a blackberry but they produce a ton of fruit they become a tree so uh they one tree is enough for as much jam as you want <laughs> it's uh, when they get when they mature they produce a ton so i was looking around where i was going to be able to put it in my yard and i think right here where i'm standing is the best spot there is my house there's a big oak tree but the sun that's on the south or that's on the north side so the sun comes up over this way so it's uh so it's not being blocked by that big oak tree however i do have right here it's a mesquite and it's damaged it's going to be blocking the sun and i want this in full sun so i was looking on the property i think this is the best spot i'll bring you guys in here and i'll show you what i mean so right here how those uh you can see those telephone poles line up i'm standing right on where the easement is on my property here and you know i want to come in a little bit and see there's another big pole so all along here this is where well, i can't go past like about this point uh with it because if i ever want to put a fence in this is the line i'm going to be putting the fence so i need to come in just slightly which is going to be right around here um which is fine it, but this is going to be blocking the sun because the sun comes up over this way like that and so if i take this down then I'm not going to have any issues with the sun. The only thing I'm worried about is, because it's kind of leaning this way, if I do cut it at the base, it might fall on my chicken coop, and I don't want that. I'm going to try to cut it a little higher up and see if I can't get it pushed that direction. All right, so I'm going to use some protection here. Uh, this is kind of a thing I use for when I'm weed eating, but this is going to keep this in case this ever since I'm going to be holding it up over my head a little bit, if this kicks back, it's going to keep me a little more safe. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch it on the side and then notch it a little higher over on this side and then I can push it. So that's kind of the idea. There we go. So there's that notch out of there. Now well, that worked out perfect, so it did fall that direction. Happy about that. Now this one, this side, I don't have to worry as much. There we go. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time at this moment cutting all this up. I just wanted it down so it didn't fall on my tree. So now I'm going to dig a hole and plant this mulberry tree once I move all this out of the way. Later today or maybe tomorrow, I'll spend some time chopping these up and then getting over where my barbecue wood is. All right, let's get this tree in the ground. So I'm thinking right here, and I use this thing to kind of break up the dirt and then I can kind of scoop it out. And I don't need a big hole. In fact, I don't want it to be super big uh, because I want this to kind of get used to the native soil pretty quickly. And these are famous for being real good with it, pretty much any kind of soil, but I just need it deep enough not super wide, maybe double the size, maybe double the width of the pot, but I'm not going to go much deeper than the pot. See where we're at. Yep. That's about right. So the fertilizer I'm using is organic fertilizer. It's bone meal and blood meal. I'm not going to use a lot of blood meal, mostly bone meal. Bone meal is really good for kickstarting those roots and we can add quite a bit. I'm just going to dust this pretty well and we'll backfill a little bit kind of get that sitting the right height maybe a little bit more dirt and then of course a little bit of blood meal i don't want a lot but i'm just adding a little bit scratch that in see where we're at for height Slightly more. I 
there we go all right now so this looks like it's starting to be root bound so i'm gonna break so i'm gonna break this apart a little bit i don't want to damage the roots but i also need to make sure that this doesn't get this doesn't stay root bound so there we go i mean it's still a little bit but i don't want to go crazy with it let's take some of these roots and extend them out a little bit look at that grub i'll go to the chickens break apart some of these clumps but we'll get all the rocks out and then backfill this now could i have dug a little deeper probably would have been a good idea but it's a mulberry tree these things are from what i read pretty much bulletproof so i'm going to push down a little bit with my foot to get release any air pockets get good get good soil contact can brush in a little bit more of this dirt I want to make sure that crown is exposed and it's not covered by a lot of dirt and then I'm gonna add a little bit of this bone meal right around on top a little more scratch that in and there we go let's get the hose and water this in I'm gonna set this to the soaker mode and I'm gonna lock that on and just let that fill her up. I gotta do something about this. So I gotta start working on that. I'm gonna grab my chainsaw, finish this up. Maybe not today, but at least I'll cut it down into pieces today. We can chop it up later, another day. You really wanna water trees super deep. That causes them to wanna get their roots down deeper, find more water infrequently, not, not too often, maybe about once a week. To, unless it's super hot out, then twice a week. All right, let's see. We don't want to cause a flood either, so I want to make sure there's enough drainage. Let's see if that stays on the surface or goes down, which it looks like it's going down. So there we go. I think we are good. That's probably deep enough. And then I'll come back probably in another two days uh, pretty quickly because it is brand new and we'll water again heavy like that and make sure it gets down deep and then after that I'll start doing it once a week. Let's get that chainsaw. Let's cut this into pieces here. So two batteries. Although it did do this. This took a lot because it had to, took a lot of cutting. I had to come in from two sides because that's way thicker than, as you can see, than my saw got a 10 inch that's probably a i don't know 15 inch diameter so i'm not gonna be able to get even further down that's what took that battery is just that so well i think that's gonna be the end of the video i'll get this taken care of you guys don't need to see all that but i'll get this all chopped up and ready but the point was that i was able to remove the tree that's going to block the light for this so this is going to get full sun now all day long so i think it'll grow well i'll bring you guys back and give you guys updates on how well this is growing. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.